Okay, so let me tell y'all, when I learned this, I was shook. I wasn't super into tracking the planets like every day like I am now and had a completely different business than the one I have now. But one of the things that I love to do now that I'm more aware of the transits and how they impact me is look back on life events and be like, okay, what was going on in the stars then? Because it's freaking cry cry. So this is a screenshot of the chart, the current transits, at the end of June in 2019. Curious to hear what happened for you in terms of a relationship in 2019. Because for me, I was about a year and a half into a very toxic karmic relationship with someone who was pretty mentally ill. And I had been supporting them, trying to get them to get help and support them in healing. But it just became so, so, so difficult. And one thing led to another and it all escalated. There was something that happened that triggered him and triggered a very intense reaction where he was like, you need to move out of our house in three hours or I'm going to call the cops on you. And at the time, I didn't know that that like technically isn't allowed. <laughs> like someone can't just do that. But I was so in fear. And also I need to get out of that situation that I just listened and I like did what I needed to do to get out. Even though I had no car, I had no money and nowhere else to go, or so I thought. It ended up working out just fine. My job at the time, the owners of the restaurant that I worked at, thankfully had an open room in their house that I ended up staying at for free, well, in exchange for work for the next couple months. And they also had a car I could drive because, like I said, I didn't have a car. I didn't have any way to move all of my things. But luckily, I had so much help and support from the people at the job that I worked at at the time. Okay, let's look at the astrology at that time because this shit is cry cry. So we have the South Node in Capricorn and Saturn was in Capricorn. Saturn is historically known for being the father of karma. If you're not listening to the lessons of Saturn and what Saturn's trying to teach you, it's going to shake up your fucking world <laughs> real quick and things are never going to be the same again. Especially with the South Node there, the South Node rules past life karma and what we're releasing, like the season of releasing that we're in as a collective. And Capricorn is our structure, our foundations. So I had Pluto in Capricorn then, really close to Saturn in the South Node. Pluto is the planet of destruction, of death and transformation, intense rebirth. North Node is in Cancer, setting a new foundation and moving towards a home that feels more supportive and secure and healing. The relationship and housing situation I was in with my ex was not healing, it was like damaging. So Saturn and Pluto were like, you gotta let this go, like South Node, you gotta release this shit and move on. Another interesting thing we had happened that year was Uranus moved into Taurus that year and Chiron moved into Aries, beginning a new cycle with Chiron and Aries of taking inspired action with bravery, courage, and Uranus, chaos and unexpected changes to Taurus are foundations and what we're holding on to as our comforts. So Jupiter in a harsh aspect to Neptune, spiritual awakenings through challenge and conflict. One stuff for me was in my area of home. 